Well, I mean, let's talk a little bit about the importance of master rights, because obviously we're talking about songwriting, publishing. I, I think they're intrinsically linked. Um, you know, I, I, you, you kind of, you can write a song, but unless somebody records it, it's not necessarily going to be heard. Um, so the, the importance of actually owning those master rights, because we have two payments that are made. So I've got a couple of examples here. Um, and this, again, thinking internationally, as, as Helen was talking about before, uh, Ruffles Potato Chips, right? And this is territory is Turkey for two years, TV, cinema, and the internet. Um, both sides of the royalty, so as in the, the whole sum, £56,000 is paid to that. So how many of you here would be prepared to let your track go for some potato chips in Turkey? I thought you might, <laughs> Mr Slater. Um, Land Rover, uh, territories UK and Ireland, um, the rights for TV, cinema, and internet, the fee for that was £75,000. Um, Lego, uh, there's Dirt Crusher in Scandinavia for a year, and also Bionicle, I don't know what these are, someone who plays with Lego can probably tell me, um, £53,000. Again, a significant income stream for independent artists, publishers, whatever. Um, O2, um, a bigger brand, certainly in the telecoms industry, that's 50,000 UK one year. This is my favourite, this is um, Danish National Rail. Anybody want to hazard a guess on which name? That's because you were in my class. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For four thousand pounds, but even so, four thousand pounds for a track that you you know you're not giving it away forever, exclusively, whatever. You're giving it to Denmark for one year for the National Rail Company. This is bringing two worlds together. Then, so this is like this is the, this yeah, is the brands it, advertising music. Yes, so. which is which is I think probably the brave new world of sync music yeah. uh, because yeah. there's still some very random <laughs> stuff that happens with synchronisation. Um, we were talking with Dave Stone earlier on about uh, Alex Clare and his track with uh, Microsoft where um, it, it, Microsoft picked up the track but um, Alex Clare had, um, uh, had been dropped by the label. And, um, and it's been re-signed. And it's been re-signed, yeah. it? Is it re-signed? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're pretty mad. Yeah. And <laughs> we publish him. Oh, oh really? Right. Excellent. And, um, that well, you're better place to tell <laughs> the story. Yeah. I, I actually was racking my brains and I couldn't yeah. think what the ad was, so I thought yeah. I can't mention it. Yeah. And then you reminded yes. me it was Microsoft, thank you. Um, but he, yeah, he was dropped by Island Records yeah. and then subsequent to him getting dropped, he got this, um, this sink and then ended up being number one in Germany. He's yes. pretty much number Massive. one Europe-wide now and yes. he's come back here now. and. <clears throat> Uh, luckily, his relationship with the label hadn't deteriorated so badly that they yeah. couldn't re-sign him. But he wrote off his his debt to the right, record so label. Right, so he's So he's, now, he's yeah. now got a, a, what do we call it, level balance. An artist in profit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>